Hey guys, this is Gurpreet. Welcome to the channel Cloud eTech. So today, this is our third video. We're going to talk about the EMM and MDM capabilities. So in the last video, we talked about what are the capabilities of MDM and now we're going to go in depth. So we have different MDM features, but the main three things we're going to today talk about uh, are the content management, application management and the device management wherein We'll go depth, we'll see what all it can do. There are different MDM features which have different functionalities, but we're gonna talk about the basics today. And in the coming videos, we'll talk about what all things uh, are different in one MDM solution from another. So let's get started. So the main uh, features or main capabilities of MDM comprise of the three things we talked about is the mobile device management, mobile application management and the mobile content management. So the name, as the name suggests, it is device which is controlled. In this, the application uh, is controlled in the content management content which can be published on the devices using the MDM solution. So this makes as a whole an enterprise mobility management solution. So it was just called the MDM in the initial stages, but now the more fancier word for this is the enterprise mobility management where it where it covers everything which is there on the screen at the moment so let's get down to the uh, depth of the device management so these are the things which a device management can do it can send the updates over the air it can do the configurations provisioning over the air it can talk about the security of the devices we can go ahead and do a backup and restore from the management console of a device that if you're looking for a backup and restore there are options we can back up the corporate data from the device to, to the management console the we can also see the usage uh, of a device in terms of a telecom or a network use and we have different features wherein um, an sms or things that can be monitored that can be locked down so device management can give you an option to remote lock and wipe your device as well let's say if you wanna if your device is lost and it's not locked so we can lock it or we can do an enterprise wipe or a whole device wipe if it's managed if we talk about the wipe there are different wipes available it depends uh, on the MDM solution as well we can do the device provisioning as well so if we talk about provisioning is getting a device ready for the MDM solution or enrolling a device for corporate use and software installation. If software installation can be installation of the applications, which are either internal applications, and we'll talk about this further. So the MDM is aimed managing the devices and administrator use this feature to control the devices. There are two ways to control. Uh, they are enrolled devices and unenrolled devices. Enrolled devices are basically devices which are agent enrolled devices. So if we talk about AirWatch, we do the Workspace One Agent. And if we talk about Intune, primarily, which is the main two players. So we talk about the company portal application or Microsoft Intune application, which is now updated. So there are employees which are using more and more mobile devices these days, not just uh, mobile devices. They have smartphones, um, tablets, and other devices which can be controlled via MDM, like Chaos and things like that. And what features it, it is imposing and enforcing on a mobile device is coming through the mobile device management. So if you don't want them to use a camera in a particular time, we can do that. If you want that they don't use, uh, let's say, a call option at a particular time, we can do that. Or on a particular location. So there's something which is called geofencing. So what is a geofencing? Um, geo is geographic. Fencing is giving you restrictions in a particular fence on a particular area for example if I set a particular area from this if a device enters that and it is connected to the Wi-Fi the device will not be able to do certain things which you that administrator doesn't want you to do and once you move out of that place the device will be uh, normal again what we can do here is also grant accesses like email VPN sending certificates to Wi-Fi and there are other corporate accounts which can be used within uh, using those parameters and that can be sent so nobody has to enter it basically on a device or administrator they can just push it down from the MDM's console to your device 
it also can be based upon the groups so for example we have groups in ad similar we have groups in uh, in tune uh, which is uh, synced by azure ad and we have an internal group settings in airwatch it's like having an own ad in airwatch wherein you can set policies for a particular group of members let's say for hr it's a different group and they want different applications different uh, settings and and things like more in security and the uh, board members they need more security and things like that so that can be catered so basically in device management it is all about getting the device managed using those policies and procedures and restrictions which we uh, an administrator can send to the device and further in the device management we have more depth so we will go uh, in the coming videos we'll talk about more and we'll show some uh, workshops wherein how a device is enrolled how it is managed so that will be done as well so let's move on to the next part which is an application management so application management comprises of a lot of things so this is just a gist of it uh, the application management is probably the most vast uh, management area for MDM solution so it can do the app delivery which is the application deployment it can talk about the security on particular application we can manage the update or version control for the particular application uh, application we can do the version control of the particular application we can do the user authentication uh, with different ways not just entering a password it can be either your face recognition your uh, certificate your uh, fingerprint and things like that then we talk about the versions so for example if one version is not compatible and it's no longer in use we can push or suggest a user to update the version of the application and we can always do a reporting and tracking so the common MDM feature capability include the deployment as I mentioned so it is called uh, you know from done from the enterprise app store so enterprise app store is different from your Google Play Store or Apple App Store we can have the app published to that particular enterprise app store which is particular for particular uh, MDM solutions and we can send the application to that we have software licensing management uh, we have the uh, application inventory wherein we can just send the app configuration from the inventory and the software licensing manager is basically the one of the terms of uh, it is volume purchased apps uh, volume purchased apps are mostly in Apple uh, they are getting introduced in Android devices as well so this is one of the features there so we can check the application licensing management as well wherein we can check uh, the licenses of the application if it needs update or can be taken out and things like that one best thing with application management is containerization. In containerization, we can isolate an app from a group or of on a device, all alone, all different from your personal data. Why it is known as a container? Because the things, the documentation, the application will not leave that particular container. It will stay within the app and it will interact with those which are there in this particular container. Outside the container, it is all different. It will be closed. So Workspace ONE has a solution for that and uh, in Intune um, it is at the moment working as a MAM set of services. We will discuss that in late coming videos uh, what is different how MDM and MAM is different in Intune and it is different in uh, AirWatch. So these kind of things so, so we'll discuss this uh, further in the videos and uh, you'll get to know. So this is kind of a series I'm trying to make and uh, just to share knowledge in terms of step by step so that you understand the basic and then we go in depth with the features and with the same thing uh, in, in the, the coming uh, points where it can update the application version we can send the app configuration now what's an app configuration for example you have an application where you need to enter the username and password uh, we can make some settings and the username and password can be pre-filled if the device is enrolled using that agent agent will pre-fill the device's uh, information the username and password information for you and that will be used for the application login so you don't have to do that there are other policies that uh, in in opening that application while the application is open you cannot take a screenshot cut copy paste uh, we can also do that there are uh, settings wherein user can only use the application when it is managed 
for example you can download your outlook and just use your personal mailbox in that as well but then once you enroll the outlook or configure the outlook using your corporate data it will behave a little different that's how it is so in the application uh, the corporate data which is there it should not be reproduced uh, for example, cut, cut, copy, paste, or print. This can be restricted, taking screenshots, sending it over email on third party. So these can can be uh, blocked. And uh, we can do the monitoring and tracking of application for unwanted logins and access and behaviors. If we see the application is behaving a little different, so there are analytics where it can inform you prior if something's going to happen bad, and it can trigger that for you. It depends on different things like in which location it is accessed. For example, you are in you are in US and uh, next time when you log in it's from Germany or next time you log in it's from India that will make a difference and that will have the you know app notified to the user to the admin and see that it is not behaving the way it's supposed to be and they can be triggers which can be sent and depending on the status of uh, ownership and activity so these kind of things this can be done in application management so let's quickly talk about now the third and the the last thing which is the Content management. All right. So content management is one of the most interesting part as well. Uh, it's not as big as uh, application management, but the content management uh, is one of the key uh, thing for an MDM solution. How it can cater things, how it can have you access or get you access to your documents which are there on your computer. For example, let me give an example here. Uh, let's say you are working on a file uh, while you are on the you know office and you're working on a file and file needs editing and things like that but you're getting late to go home and things like that but you have a you know one hour long traffic time and you can do that you can still open your computer and do it in the in the traffic that's not a problem but there's another way we can have the MDM solution publish your repository your network drives and a lot of things which can be incorporated you talk about the OneDrive Google Drive your own network drive which is there for the company access or your systems drive which is published and that can give you the same document which is there you can edit that and you can save it on the go the same document can be you know available made available to you anywhere anytime on any mobile platform any uh, OS to say so so the sharing of corporate data between corporate and personal this is something which is created by the mobile content management it gives you and uh, I would say a firewall or uh, parameters where you need to log in to some uh, to access some files and uh, it can do the data backup for you from third-party cloud services it can help you add the content and from drives like I mentioned it can be a network drive it can be Google Drive business drive there are a lot of other applications which can be incorporated with different MDM solutions to get you the data OneDrive is the most common one these days and we can distribute content to a group for example if you have an admin drive admin drive which is associated with your MDM drive uh, you log in to a application for example container is one application and there is other app secure content locker for AirWatch what you can do is you can just go ahead and just open that and access that file and you can have multiple drives multiple directories which can be assigned to you by admin and uh, for example if you different departments different departments will see different directories in which they can go and access the file send it across to other um, email and we can also do that that it can only be opened using manage application and it can only be sent using the uh, office outlook and things like that so the content management is one one a key feature in one of the MDM solution. I think AirWatch is leading this. Uh, if you talk about AirWatch now, it is called Workspace One, but that's okay. Uh, it doesn't matter. It it is all one same thing, and they have including more of more features, and they are giving it new names. But the basic will still remain the same. So apart from this, uh, three things: the device management, application, and the content management. We have email management, security management, and identity management as well. But I I would say these are the more often more used part of the MDM solution uh, the email management is mostly taken over by O365 wherein it is done by Microsoft even uh, AirWatch has some features to update and uh, they already have basically updated the features wherein uh, the Intune policies 
for O365 can be used in the AirWatch uh, MDM solution. So they have different, uh, in the email management it was basically for exchange. Uh, it's mostly taken over by O365, so it's no point covering that. But still if you want, I, you guys, I can just go ahead and do that for you. Uh, we have security management in what type of security, the condition access stuff, uh, it, is, it is primarily for Intune. We can also cover that. But I think for now, this should be, uh, as a third video, this should be uh, more than enough uh, for you to understand. Uh, normally, I was supposed to post videos every Tuesday and Thursday. But now, I think since I had time today, so I thought, let's just make a video and upload it. And uh, I was getting uh, DMs on Instagram and some uh, posts and uh, comments on LinkedIn to put the videos uh, sooner. So I'm just going to do that. So... Stay tuned guys, there will be more videos, uh, do subscribe to my channel, share this video, if you want some documentation, do let me know in the comments, I will be happy to share that. Thanks for your time, have a nice day, stay tuned.